Hello, I'm back. Okay, we uh, just finished uh, reading page 98. Student book, page 98. Okay, uh, let's, let's read it once again. Okay, uh, repeat after me once again. What did Linda do after breakfast? She made the beds. What did Brenda and Leo do this morning? They picked up patients in the reception area. Three, what did the travel do this morning? He delivered x-rays. Number four, where did the chill and bread take the linens? They took the linens to the second floor. Number five, what did Felix do yesterday? He helped patients with the walkers and wheelchairs. Number six, where did Juan and Ivana go after work? They went to the coffee shop. Across the street. Number seven, what did Marco do after lunch? He prepared the rooms on the second floor. Number eight, where did Susanna meet Marco? She met him in her office. Okay, so we practice, uh, we practice the uh, what and where questions uh, and the simple past. Okay, uh, let's look at our student book, student book, page 99, page 99. Okay, look at B, talk with a partner, change the bold words and make conversations. Uh, let's read this conversation together, repeat after me. Where did Rosa go at 8? She went to the coffee shop. What did she do there? She ate breakfast. This is Rosa's schedule. This is Rosa's schedule, okay? Uh, we write our schedule on our day planner. This is Rosa's day planner. Okay? Rosa's day planner. We write our schedule on our day planner. Okay? 
uh, she wrote her schedule uh, from 8 to 5.30. Okay, uh, so let's look at the, the Rosa's day planner. Where did Rosa go at 8? She went to the coffee shop. What did she do there? She ate breakfast. Okay. Uh, in this way, look at number three, communicate. Uh, Oh, before we do number three, we can ask and answer uh, about her Rosa's schedule. Let me ask you uh, uh, some questions according to Rosa's schedule. You find the answer, okay? Where did Rosa go at 9.30? The answer is she went to the fourth floor. What did she do there? Yes, she prepared the rooms. Okay. Okay, where did Rosa go at 10.30? Yes, the answer is she went to the reception area. What did she do there? She met Patience. Where did she? Where did Rosa go at eleven thirty? She went to the lab. What did she do there? She picked up X-rays. Where did Rosa go at one o'clock? Yes, the answer is she went to the cafeteria. What did she do there? She met Amy. Okay, where did Rosa go at 2 o'clock? The answer is she went to the reception area. What did she do there? She cleaned the furniture. Where did Rosa go at 3 o'clock? She went to the first floor. What did she do there? She made the beds. Okay, where did Rosa go at 3.30? <clears throat> she went to the third floor. What did she do there? She delivered supplies. Okay, where did Rosa go at 4.30? She went to the lab. What did she do there? She delivered, I mean, she picked up x-rays. Okay, where did Rosa go at 5.30? The answer is, she went to the community college. What did she do there? She went to English class. Okay. She studied English. She studied English. Okay. Now, when you uh, uh, have to answer to the past tense question, you got to use past tense always. When the question is past tense, the answer is past tense. When the question is present tense, the answer should be the present tense. Don't forget that, okay? So when, where did Rosa go? She went. What did Rosa do? She ate, okay? So you gotta memorize all the irregular verbs, past tense form. Okay, look at number three, communicate. Hey, repeat after me. Rachel, where did you go last weekend? I went to the mall. What did you do? I ate lunch and went shopping. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. So uh, when you look at the table B, 
below the conversation. It says last weekend, last Monday, this morning, last summer, last night. These are all past tense phrases. So where you can use these phrases when you ask past tense. Okay. Okay. Then now let's go to our workbook. Workbook page ninety. Workbook page ninety. Uh, you do number one and look at number two. Look at the picture. Write the words from exercise one. Okay, we studied about the vocabularies about the, the, the work. Okay, let's look at number one. What is this? It is a lab. What about number two? Who are these? They are co-workers. Number three, what are these? What are these? These are linens. Linens. Number four, what are all these? These are supplies. Supplies. Number five, what is this? This, uh, this is a wheelchair. Number six, what is this? It is a walker. Number seven, who is this person? An orderly, an orderly. Number eight, who is this? He is a patient, patient. Okay, let's move to page 91, next page. Workbook page 91, workbook page 91. Okay, look at number three. Number three. Uh, let's read the word first. Repeat after me. Co-workers. Linens. Orderly. Patient. Walker. Wheelchair. Okay, let's find the answer. Number one, the blank came to the hospital with a broken leg. What's the answer? Patient. Number two, Susanna, Suzanne and her two blank worked the night shift together. The answer is co-workers. Number three, Suzanne put clean blank on the bed. Clean linens. Number four, because he broke his leg, Sam had to ride in a wheelchair. Number five, the blank took the x-rays to the lab. Who? An orderly. Number six, Anne is very old. She needs to use a blank when she walks. Walker. Okay? Now, repeat after me. Number one, the patient came to the hospital with a broken leg. Number two, Suzanne and her two co-workers worked the night shift together. Three, Suzanne and her two, I mean three, I'm sorry, Suzanne put clean linens on the bed. Number four, because he broke his leg. Sam had to ride in a wheelchair. Number five, the orderly took the x-rays to the lab. Number six, 
and is very old. Unit 8. I'm sorry. She needs to use a walker when she walks. Okay, let's move to number four. Listen, circle T or F. Okay, listen to this first. Work. Page 91, exercise four. Track 27. Conversation A. Hi, Marcus. How are you? Hi, Otto. I'm fine. Hey. How was your new job? It's great. I love it. What do you do? I'm an orderly. Hmm. What do orderlies do? Well, let's see. I do a lot of different things. For example, yesterday I delivered supplies and picked up x-rays. Do you help patients? Yes. This morning, I delivered a walker to a patient. I also took a patient to the lab. Do you clean the rooms? No, I don't clean the rooms, but I make the beds. Okay, conversation A. Let's find the answer. Number one, Otto has a new job. True or false? That's true. Number two, Otto delivered a walker to a patient yesterday. The answer is false. Three, Otto cleans rooms. The answer is false. Okay, conversation, conversation B. Conversation B. Hi, Raphael. How's it going? Oh, hi, Otto. I'm fine. What's new with you? Well, I'm thinking about getting a new job. Really? You just started your job here a few weeks ago. Well, I like my job, but I need to work part-time now. I'm going to go to school. Can you work and go to school? Sure. I can go to school during the day and work a night shift. That sounds hard. Why do you want to go to school? I want to get a medical assisting certificate. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe you can work the night shift here. Right. I'm going to ask about that. Okay. Conversation B. Number four. Otto started his job a few months ago. The answer is false. He started his new job a few months weeks ago. Okay, five. Otto needs to work full-time now. Is it true or false? It's false. He needs to work part-time. Okay, number six. Otto wants to be a medical assistant. The answer is true. Okay, good. Conversation, Conversation C. Is this the counseling office? Yes, it is. I'm Laura Jones. I'm the new student advisor. Hi, Laura. I'm Otto Martinez. Hi, Otto. Have a seat. How can I help you? I'm an orderly at Valley Hospital. I like my job, but I want to become a medical assistant. That's a great idea. We have an excellent medical assisting program here at Bay City College. You can get a certificate in one year. I need to work. Can I go to school part-time and work part-time? Yes, many students go to school part-time and work part-time. But you'll get your certificate in two years, not one. And all the classes are in the daytime. That's okay. I can work the night shift at the hospital. Well, that sounds good then. I'll see you this fall. Great. Thanks, Laura. Okay, let's find the answer. Conversation C. 7. 
Otto is in an office at Valley Hospital, Troll Falls. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That's false. <coughs> Why? Because Otto is an orderly, so he cannot be in an office. He sh has to come and go here and there. Okay? That's an orderly job. Okay, eight. Otto can go to school part time and work time work full time. I mean part time. Laura said yes, so that's true. Number nine, Otto can take classes at night. That's true. Because he said he can work night shift, so he cannot go to class. Okay, let's listen all over again. Unit 8, Work. Page 91, Exercise 4, Track 27, Conversation A. Okay, uh, I, on my second thought, uh, let's listen it once again when I come back. Okay, let's take another break. Thank you. <laughs> 